Well, glory to God. Welcome once again to Power of Faith. I'm Pastor Philip with my wife, Alberta, and we are just delighted to be able to share with you in the truths of God's word once again. Luke 1 37 says, for with God, nothing shall be impossible. Nothing. And if you're new to this program, we pastor Faith Victory Church right here in the capital city of Frankfort, Kentucky. We're honored to be on WFBN. Pastor Bob Tilton put this network together and we're just uh, thrilled to be one of the many broadcasters on this network, building the kingdom of God Amen. for the Lord Jesus. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. You look very colorful. I didn't wear my wedding band today. That's a rarity, but we're still covenanted together. Glory to God. Very soon to be 36 years. Yeah, uh, August 28th. 28th? Mm -hmm. We always argued about that. Well, not argued, but I know. Oh, hallelujah. <laughs> my ears are. That's when you surrendered to me, huh? Oh. No, I, that's when I surrendered to God. No, that was 13 years old. No, I surrendered to God. <laughs> I would have never, ever have married right. you. You chase me it down was, now. No, stop it. We rewind no, the tape. Stop. We'll find out. Don't even go there. Anyway, okay. I surrendered to God. I yeah. would have never left that island either. But look what look what we've done together. Exactly. What God has done. What God has joined together. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Other than that, honey, we wouldn't even be alive. You like being married to me? <laughs> of course. That's a that's a goofy question. Well, what kind of answer is that? That's what I mean. That's a goofy question. <laughs> Hello? Who am I going to say no? I don't. <laughs> well, we're glad you're able to join us over the next half hour. <laughs> and you know, when you've been married as long as we have... 36 uh, years. We can... Uh, have a good time in it. Praise the Lord. Oh, my goodness. And that's true, what God put together. No man, no devil can divide. Yeah. Separate. We're going to look at something this week on reaping enemies. Reaping enemies? Enemies that try to disrupt the believer from reaping. Reaping enemies. I thought you meant, like we're reaping, we're bringing in enemies. Like, thank you. That's the wrong harvest. No, how the enemy tries to stop yeah. a believer's harvest yeah. from coming in. Oh, my. And uh, one of the best places to uh, find out about that is in Mark chapter 4, mm -hmm. where Jesus talked about the parable of the sower. Yes, and, you know, uh, uh, he said a sower went out to sow the word, some fell by the wayside, st some fell by stony ground, some by thorny ground, some on good ground. And the disciples heard him teach on that. But they, they, they didn't have the revelation of what right. uh, he, was, he was saying. Right. And uh, we pick it up here in verse 10. When he was alone, they that were about him with the twelve asked him of the parable. And we, and we go to verse 13. And he said unto them, Know you not this parable? How then will you know all parables? Right. Now this is the granddaddy of them all. Yes, sir. That's it. If you don't understand seed time and harvest, you understand then you're not going to understand anything. Uh, the other truths of God's word because God's word is a seed and uh, God sends his word to heal. He sends his word to prosper. He sends his word to bless and uh, understanding that words are containers. They contain power. They contain uh either blessing or cursing, mm -hmm. death or you life. You contain whatever you're, you're saying. And so they're wanting to know, you know, hey, what is the deal here when you're talking about these four grounds? And so uh, Jesus uh, begins to explain it. And if you would, Alberta, read 14 through 20. Okay. That's Mark 4, verse 14. The sower sows the word. 
And these are they by the wayside, where the word is sown. But when they have heard, Satan comes immediately and takes away the word that was sown in their hearts. And these are they likewise, which are sown on stony ground, who, when they have heard the word, immediately receive it with gladness and have no root in themselves and so endure but for a time. Afterward, when affliction or persecution arises for the word's sake. See, that's what all this is about. Just okay. keep reading. I, I was going to start preaching. For the word's sake, immediately they are offended. My. And these are they which are sown among thorns, such as hear the word, and the cares of this word, and the deceit, world. I mean world, excuse me, and the deceitfulness of riches, and the lust of other things entering in, choke the word, and it becomes unfruitful. And these are they which are sown on good ground, such as hear the word, and receive it, and bring forth fruit, some thirtyfold, some 60, and some 100. Okay. So we see that there's not a problem with the seed. No. Same seed, mm -hmm. but different results. Yeah. According to the ground mm -hmm. that the seed was planted in. Yeah. You know, uh, we're going to look at this wayside first. Okay, yeah. Wayside. Now, the wayside, Alberta, uh, Excuse me. When my dad uh, was raising his huge gardens, <laughs> huge, the whole neighborhood. Yeah, the whole, yeah, the whole, yeah. I when know he, what that background. Yeah, like. huge. Uh, there were certain paths that we walked on. Yeah. Uh, because it's all plowed, it's all tilled, it's all planted. You so you just on. didn't walk between any old road that you wanted right. to uh, to get to the other side. There was a certain path. Yeah. And because me and my dad and whoever walked on that path so many times, it became very hard. Mm -hmm. And uh, so hard that nothing's going to grow there. And that's that wayside ground. And really? Yeah. That's the way, wayside. That wayside is is those hardened paths that the sower, you know, a lot of times back in the day, they would sow seed out of a bag, just like this right here, uh, and wherever the seed fell, that's what he's talking about. Well, some fell, some fell there Wasn't on those hard on yeah. that hard path where people walk, and it couldn't get, get down, down into. Uh, the soil. Birds come and eat it right away. And uh, your that seed is 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 free pickings. Yeah. For the birds, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, when somebody has a hard heart. Yeah. And you know, different si situations can make somebody's heart hard. Uh, you know, the the way you were raised, you may have been abused, or or uh, somebody or you just got never heard somebody got hurt in church, yeah, or somebody uh, is very intellectual and, yeah. you know, that everything has to be yeah. science to them. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of uh, different teaching uh, contrary to the Word of God that's in existence uh, these days that can cause somebody's heart to be hardened against the truths of God's Word. And notice it says Satan comes immediately. 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 Why does he come immediately? You know what that seed to get down in there. He knows the power of the seed of that seed. Yep. And he knows that uh, if if it's left uh, to itself, and uh, that seed uh, somehow finds a way if it over should into rain immediately and it's over into the ground. good soil. Yeah. It's going to produce. Absolutely. So there's nothing wrong with the sower. No. Nothing wrong with the, the seed. seed. It's the Something ground. wrong with the soil. Yeah. The three S's. The sower, the seed, the soil. And so um, 
when you're in a church service or watching Christian television or reading the Word of God and you see something that challenges you, yeah. you or you hear something being preached like, oh, I don't know about that. Well, is it being preached out of the Word? Is it being rightly divided? There's a whole lot of things. Well, I don't know about that. Uh -huh. There's a whole yeah. lot of things. When, when you and I got born again, we were two drug addict drunks. And all of a sudden, we're in his marvelous light. There's a whole lot of things. Well, I don't know about that. But we opened up our oh, heart. My. Oh, my. And we let the seed of God come forth, right? Mm -hmm. And the devil, I remember with, with the baptism of the Holy Ghost, how I, I'd been raised that all the, that oh, the tongue devil. stuff is of the devil. Yeah, yeah. So when, <clears throat> when we actually got into a church that was spirit-filled, where uh, people were singing in tongues, you know, and so on and so forth, Satan came immediately, immediately. to try to steal that vital uh, gift uh, from uh, from me, you already had, you already was yielded to it, and it was a battle. And and even after I got baptized in the Holy Ghost, we were listening to Christian radio, where that preacher was preaching against, yeah. saying everything yeah. that uh, I was raised with that tongues is of the devil, you know, tongues have ceased, has passed away, and, so, and Satan was trying to come immediately yeah. to steal that away. And I remember getting in front of God and, and saying to God, you know, Lord, you know, uh, what have I done if I opened myself up to the devil? Mm -hmm. And the Lord made it real clear. He said, do you think really? that when a child of mine is asking me for a gift that I said they could have, that there's any kind of devil that could get in the way and mess that up ain't happening, Philip. What you have is my spirit. So Satan comes immediately. You know, you may hear uh, teaching on healing. Exactly. Well, sometimes he does, sometimes he oh, doesn't. God. No, he does all the time. Right? Mm -hmm. Well, I know Sister So and so, and she taught Sunday school for 50 years and she died. She was of a cancer. saint. She was a pillar. If anybody ought to got healed, Sister So and so. Well, you know, well, time out. <laughs> You know, That's just thank God weird. that Sister So-and-So taught yeah. Sunday school and probably helped a lot of young children uh, on their journey, but we don't know what she was teaching. And uh, Satan, Satan comes, you know, just just as soon as you hear get a revelation, just as soon it. as you are, are uh, somebody preaches something, you're like, wow, praise God. The blessing of the Lord maketh rich, and he has no sorrow with it. And here come the devil. Here come the devil. Oh, now see, you're after money. That's all you think about is money. <laughs> and so on and so forth. All these, all these things. All of it. All of Anything it. Anything he can yep. to get his grimy hands on. To get that seed out on away that from seed. You. So if, if you have a hard heart, then the Bible says, break up the fallow ground. Break up that hard heart so that the seed can find a good place. You know, every year when we would uh, replow that yeah. field out back, yeah. well, the wayside, when that plow would hit that wayside, Conk. it was, it, 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 like rock. it made that tractor work. Now, it would finally get plowed, but it, it was packed down so much that uh, as, as you plowed through, uh, the guy running the tractor knew, okay, and he'd have to lift up his plow a little bit and cut off the first part of it and go a little deeper, whatever, but he'd get through it. But it was packed down so hard uh, that way. Anybody that has uh, plowed a new field and uh, that, and if it was a field where uh, heavy traffic had been on, uh, you know, vehicles or 
or people walking on or whatever is packed down. And when people have walked all over you, <laughs> when people have driven all over you and you're feeling that in your heart and then you hear God's word, you're liable to just think, well, that's nice that it happened for the Durbers, but not for me. Honey, you know, when you study this out, mainly what this is talking about is the soil and your heart is mm -hmm. the soil. And when you study this out, the different types of soil that, you know, it's being, the words being planted in, you know, the stony, they all have a different, to me, the wayside is um, just somebody that's never heard anything, supposedly, or is not open. Uh, they, they really haven't been able, like when we first got born again, you understand what I'm saying? That we were, our heart was opened up because I believe because of the vow that that helped open, you know, our hearts up because we had that vow just opened everything up. But I believe, you know, because that you go to the stony ground, that's when you've really been trampled on hard. You understand what I'm saying? And the thorns, you know, that's all the cares of this world and, and uh, uh, and then of course the good soil Th that you don't get to that good soil right away, you know you have to be learning the word and learning faith. When and you when you are working the ground, uh, there, you know I had to work work soil in many different types of soil. And uh, one of the toughest is when you got a clay mix in with yeah. your soil. Yeah. And that clay just tr tries to stick together. Yeah. It tries to get hard. Uh, keep, like clay pots. Keep uh, from being tilled and uh, being, you know. Once you plow, mm -hmm. then you come back in. In the big fields, they disc. And what they're doing is they're, they're breaking up now all those big clods Lodge. into smaller. Then they bring in the, the planter, the mm -hmm. planting machines and so on and so forth. Well, in the garden aspect, once, once you plow, it, what we did, then we brought the tillers out. And you could tell the difference in soil because uh, when you got over into the clay soil, you had to really work because the tiller was, was trying to make it fine and that clay was just like wanting to just stay in chunks, Yeah. right? And uh, my dad uh, would, would take leaves and, and uh, uh, sawdust chips and everything and and uh, put it in to the soil to loosen it up in those right. areas, yeah. And uh, uh, the places where the soil was was great, you know, you could reach down there and grab a scoop of it up there. You know, it was just it was just good soil. So all in that same big garden that we had, we still had different patches of soil. Hmm. It wasn't all the same. And uh, there was one area we'll get to uh, tomorrow that was stones. Yeah, and stony ground. You ask any farmer, you go out there and pick up all those stones. <laughs> and we had a big pile that you piled them up. Really? And you go back out there to be more stones. The stones keep coming up. Like our lawn, we have a lot of stony. No, we lawn. Got yeah, no we stones. did. You remember when they when we were putting in that? Uh, we don't system. have no stones in our yard. We have rocks. <laughs> but out in in the garden, you ask farmers; they'll go out and get all these rocks out, and the earth just keeps bringing them up. That's pretty wild. It is. It is. It is. I and wonder why. I don't know. I, I can't explain it. But uh, 
with people that farm, they'll tell you, yep, absolutely. And people that garden to any kind of uh, extent at all, they know what I'm talking about. But Satan comes immediately, Alberta, to steal, take away the word. He is threatened by the word. Oh, my, yes. So faith cometh. That's the power of the word. Satan cometh. Yes. And uh, when the uh, this hardness yeah. of heart, you can get rid of that hard heart. But it's going to take, I had a hard heart when when I got born again, uh, but uh, spending time with God uh, and his love That's right. and his Holy. word, yeah. you know, just certain areas where uh, I'd hardened my heart and ain't nobody going there. Well, God wanted to go there because mm. that's, that's the area that he needed to be involved in yeah. for blessing to flow in our lives. So I'm praying for blessing. I'm praying for uh, all the good things of God in our, in our life, but the area of my heart that needs to have that seed in it, I got it hardened. So that's, again, that's why the Bible says you, you got to break that up. And uh, I don't have a hard heart. When I hear somebody preach something now that I've never heard before, or I don't, uh, or challenges me, I don't sit there and give Satan any chance right. to come and steal it. Right. No, no, no. We're I'm gonna, gonna we're, receive it. That's right. I'm gonna study it out. That's right. I'm gonna talk to God about it. You're you're revealing this to us. Yes. And we're responsible yes. now once the messenger has brought it to us. And what are we gonna do with it? So. See, the stony ground, honey, it can't, nothing can get a root. It, you can't, it can't, the, the, the seed tries to take root, but it ends up on a, on a rock or stone, and it can't get down any further. So it tries to, you know, it gets these little roots, but they're not deep. So when that persecution or, you know, a challenge comes, boom, there's, I'm out of here. Yeah. Well, we're talking about wayside right now. Wayside doesn't even get a chance. What you were talking about, stony ground. Yeah, I said we'll talk about that tomorrow. <laughs> okay. Praise <laughs> the Lord. But uh, This is one of my favorite subjects. That tells me that Satan comes to church. He comes earlier <laughs> and more often than most Christians. Well, he comes. Yes. You know. Uh, he'll jump up. He'll people. jump up on a believer's shoulder, Come on. and while the, uh, the preacher oh, yeah, man's preaching, and he'll say, "Oh, now that now look at him. All he wants is your money, or whatever, <laughs> whatever." And uh, you know, the devil is a master at bending and twisting oh, scripture. He knows the scripture to. Uh, make somebody uh, reason Christian, it away. Yeah. But uh, I'm just trusting that everyone that's watching today, oh. you you got you got oh. a good heart. You got a good soul heart. And, and if you don't, you're going to learn. Well, this week. If, if there's any area that that you know you got anger in, any area that uh, you know just you're, you're you're mad about something or heard about something. You got to be careful. You got to let God uh, into those areas and uh, because those areas need to be planted with the Word of God. He's a deliverer. Oh my. And uh, when God delivers you and I out of that kind of hardness, uh, you know, uh, the Bible talks about it. You just look up hardness of heart, you know, that, that uh, Jesus, with the Word himself, was teaching and 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 a lot of times the people that were listening to him had hard hearts and but others believed so you know the bible says for unto us was the gospel preached as well as unto them but the word preached they did not profit them not being mixed with, with faith, faith. Mm -hmm. in them that heard it satan came immediately, immediately. and stole that word but we're going we're, we're going to look at the enemies these reaping enemies because it's harvest time. 
it's rainy season. Oh my! And it's Phew. time. It's time to get our harvest. Uh, every prophetic seed that we've sown, get our harvest in. It's uh, time. It's harvest. Our time has gotten away from us today, wow. but uh, our prayer lines there at the bottom of the screen. Twenty-four hours a day, seven days a week. It's there just for you. You want to know more about uh, our ministry? You can go to faithvictorychurch.us, and uh, that's our website. And if you're considering being a, a partner, you can go to our website, trm5000, 5000.com, and there's all kinds of information about partnership there. We're building a 5,000 prayer army. And uh, if you're a praying person, this ministry is a blessing to you. Register, we'll get your name on the list, and we're going to just impact the world for Jesus Christ. Ecclesiastes chapter 8, verse 4 says, Where the word of a king is, there, there is power. Be a blessing. The Power of Faith programs are available on YouTube 24-7. So you can watch from anywhere at any time. Search for Power of Faith on YouTube or go to youtube.com forward slash power of faith. Subscribe and click the bell to make sure you're notified whenever new episodes are posted. If you missed the episode or you just want to go back and watch it over and over again, the Power of Faith YouTube channel is there for you.